My name is Mary M. Robert's go-to girl. He discovered how he can use me to deliver some truth and show you some proven technology going on to improve your life. And we love that you have discovered us. We want to deliver helpful and genuine information. Now let's get into today's video. Thanks, Mandy. Understanding the prominence of how turmeric for cancer works, we have to know that cancer is cell-related. We have so many cells in our body, too many to fathom. But the fact is, most cells are good, but some are bad. Your white blood cells are designed to fight the bad. And when cancerous cells are present and too strong, they can begin to win the fight. Shredding, getting rid of or killing bad or dead cells is called aptosis. And turmeric with its DNA related curcuminoids are seen to encourage aptosis. Now here's exactly how this works. Well, one of the ways curry kills cancer cells is by reprogramming the self-destruct mechanism back into cancer cells. Let me just run through one of these pathways, uh, just so you can see the complexity. FAST is a so-called death receptor, which activates the FAST-associated death domain, along with death receptor 5 and death receptor 4. FAD then activates caspase 8, which ignites the death machine and kills the cell. Where does curry powder fit into all this? In cancer cells, curcumin, the pigment in the spiced turmeric that makes curry powder yellow, upregulates and activates death receptors, as has been demonstrated in human kidney cancer cells, as well as skin cancer and nose and throat cancer. It can also activate the death machine directly, as has been shown in lung cancer and colon cancer. Caspases are so-called executioner enzymes that, when activated, destroy the cancer cell from within by chopping up proteins left and right, kind of death by a thousand cuts. And that's just one pathway. Here's all the other ways curcumin can affect apoptosis, and here's the, all the different types of cancer cells curcumin can kill. Uh, but it tends to leave normal cells alone, for reasons that are not fully understood. Overall, this review showed that the curcumin can kill a wide variety of tumor cell types through diverse mechanisms, and it's because curcumin can affect numerous mechanisms of cell death at the same time, it's possible that cancer cells may not easily develop resistance to curcumin-induced cell death, like they do to most chemotherapy. Furthermore, its ability to kill tumor cells and not normal cells makes curcumin an attractive candidate for supper. Can't make money on some spice you can buy anywhere, an attractive candidate for drug development. Turmeric is making leaps and bounds in supplement and drug development. To the extent of a certain extraction formulation, now in the beginning stages of intravenous application for treatment in clinical case study trials. Check out the full article at the link in the description for individual cancer case studies and the best ways to use turmeric. This is very exciting and I am looking forward to delivering the results right here. If you want to stay informed with the development, please subscribe and choose the notification bell. If this video has helped, giving it a thumbs up and sharing really helps to deliver this message to cancer sufferers who could use hope like curcuminoids. If you have any stories to share or have any questions, let's chat in the comments below. Till next time, thank you.